What's up everybody? Josh Armijo here. I hope everybody's doing good and want stuff. I got an Arsenal inventory update to do for you guys. Vinyl this time. And I got a nice diverse little stack of heavy hitters to run through here today. Uh, but yeah, what we are listening to in the background. Immolation, Majesty and Decay. Fucking classic current day Immolation album. Still my favorite of their current era. I wish Nuclear Blast would get this a repress, because they seem to be repressing a lot of older titles in their catalog lately, but this one definitely needs a repress, I think. Uh, first record I'm going to show you is something that I really don't show too much often on here, and that is 7-inch records. And this first record is something that I received back in June when I saw Full of Hell and Gate Creeper. Uh, this was given to me by... Um, Full of Hell's vocalist Dylan, of course he's one of the greatest human beings to have ever existed, and uh, he hooked me up with this 7-inch record. Uh, yeah. This is Rama with Glowing Civilization. Yeah, this is a 2018 release through Nerve Alter, and if you're not familiar with Rama, it is a super group of sorts, pretty much featuring the vocalist of Full of Hell, the guitarist from um, Maruta and uh, Balas Pandi, who you may know for his work with uh, Merzbau. I believe he's the drummer for Merzbau, but he work, does drums here. But um, this is a brand new project. This is studio release, and pretty much this is straight to the balls to the wall technical grindcore. Everything about this seven inch is just fast, furious, straight to the point really crisp, sharp technical prowess going on here. And um, I don't know if there's going to be something coming out from this project in 2019, but if there is, you definitely need to be paying attention to what Rama is doing. I know, um, I, don't, I don't know if there's going to be any sort of live stuff because Dylan is very busy with Full of Hell, but this is a project that I definitely see having a boatload of potential. But this 7 inch here is very, very killer and creative. Uh, Midgar Rising, Smoldering Core, Brittle Sword of Damocles. There's a little bit of a Final Fantasy touch spread throughout some of these songs, which I think is really, really crazy. But I think that the 7-inch pulls it off quite nicely. But here you have the um, front cover here. Back cover. You have this little OVI strip with uh, the track listing and credits and all that stuff. Nothing really on the... It's something in the middle. Uh, comes in one of these fold-out things here. Got some more wild and crazy drawing and artwork going on here. And this is limited to 500 copies, and I was lucky enough to score the limited variant of this, which is on a very nice, transparent, clear green vinyl. Very high quality here with this record. There you see Rambo on this side, Nerve Alter on this side. Very, very cool. But yeah, Rama is a big deal. And I think in the years ahead, this project will continue to be a big deal. If you're into that really brash, technical sort of style of grindcore, Rama is the project to be checking out. So yeah, Rama with Glowing Civilization. Check this one out. Earlier this year, I, when I talked about my merch haul from Destroying Texas Fest, I talked about some records that I got from Larval Productions. Of course, that being the Jonas Savadanga record. But I was lucky enough to grab the other two parts of the puzzle for current Larval Productions releases. And this first, this, this next one that I got is a 10-inch record. Yeah, this is Caveman Cult with Supremacia Primordial. Yeah. 2018 release through Larval Productions, and this is the brand new EP from Caveman Cult. Of course, if you don't, if you're not familiar with Caveman Cult, they are based out of Florida, and they play this really dark, ugly, wretched style of black and death metal. I mean, if you're a part of that war metal sort of crew or crowd, you're gonna find something to enjoy with Caveman Cult. They bring a lot of intensity and energy here, and of course they did that with their demo and their debut full-length Savage Wars Destiny, but Supremacia Primordial continues on in the same sort of pathway as their previous releases. Um, it's only four tracks long with um, Impaled Humanity Ablaze, Dogs of War is a fucking killer track, uh, Metal Negro, Anti-Humano, and uh, Legions of the Black Vomit. Some absolutely killer stuff going on here with this CP. A lot of killer riffs, a lot of 
crazy fast blasting and drumming. A lot of awesome vocal work being done here. The growls, the screams, they're all there. This is some seriously killer stuff, and I can't wait to hear and see what uh, Caveman Cult do next. But anyway, here's the front cover. Love this artwork. Love the spike bats. This is definitely something you symbolize Caveman Cult with. Back cover here with track listing, Larva Productions. There you see this three headed snake with a spike bat, which is fucking rowdy. Love this additional artwork here. Comes with a printed sheet with some crazy words on this one. Very, very nicely done. Um, more additional artwork and credits. Very, very sick. And yeah, I don't know the limitation on this one to be specific, but all copies come on this black vinyl. There you see the Caveman Cult label in the middle. And what's interesting is that there's an etching on this side. I don't know if you're able to see it all that well, but it's the artwork that you saw on the, uh, the, uh, the printed sheet, which is really, really cool. But yeah, very, very cool little etching on this thing. But yeah, Caveman Cult are continuing to carve, put their thumbprint in Extreme Metal, and this EP is just further proof of that. But yeah, Caveman Cult, Supremacia Primordial. Go check this one out. And the last of the Larval Productions releases is something very, very cool if you are into black death metal from the Pacific Northwest. This is Curafragium with Black Seed of Bestiality. Yeah. 2018 release through Larval Productions, and this is a compilation release of two very, very interesting things to come from this band's body of work. On one side you have their 2015 demo, which of course is what gave this band a lot of love and notoriety. That demo was absolutely sick. Hearing songs like The Horns of Power, Efficience of Crucifixion, just seriously killer killer tracks. But on the other end of the spectrum you have a live set of material from uh, last year's Invoking Black Death Fest in, in uh, Illinois. And of course, this band has been known to be quite the powerhouse live, and hearing this raw, unfilled, unbridled live set from this band really shows you what type of a force uh, Curafragium are and what they could potentially be. Of course, this band was once known as Warp Vomit, and then from there they went on to become Curafragium. They put out an album last year called The Beast of the Temple of Satan. That album still holds up pretty well and pretty nicely, but this is a nice little companion piece to, to that, to know this band's early beginnings and where the future could soon hold from there. But anyway, here's a front cover. Love this artwork of the beheading of this beheaded head of Jesus right here. There you see the logo. I believe um, Chris Moyen did this logo, which is fucking badass. Very, very cool artwork here. Back cover track listings, you have the band photos, rowdy rowdy skulls here, uh, comes with a printed sheet, there you see a photo collage, dark red photo collage of, all, of band member photos, uh, credits and information, there, you there of course, their tribute to their fallen brother here, and um, I believe all copies come on standard black vinyl. Then of course, side A you have the demo, side B you have the live set. Very, very well done and well sounding stuff here. Marvel did a badass job with this presentation here, but yeah. If you're into Curafragium, I would definitely recommend you giving this uh, little companion piece a shot. But anyway, Curafragium, Black Seed of Bestiality, absolutely sick. From one extreme spectrum to another type of extreme spectrum, we're heading on into some industrial territory with this next one. This is Youth Code with Commitment to Complications. Yeah. This is a 2016 release from uh, Dyes Records, and um, Youth Code are a duo based out of California, and they are a very, very well known project when it comes to creating very lush, vibrant, and aggressive 
EDM industrial style music with a little bit of that metallic edge going for them. Um, they really know how to bring bring the bring the noise and just create some really really killer music here. And uh, this second full length album is no different here. It definitely feels a lot more fluid, a lot stronger, a lot more energetic. Definitely something you can go crazy in the mosh pit too. This is definitely electronic music that is destined for live large crowds and just lots of crazy intensity and that's what i enjoy so much about youth code there's a, some some very telling moments to note to note about this particular album is so much um a, of a little bit of a metal influence going on here for one you have reese fulber whom you may know for his work with fear factory he was behind the boards and produced this record but then you have guest appearances from uh, ben falgaust of goat whore on the title track and then you have Todd Jones from Nails doing guitar on the song Shift of Dismay. Seriously killer guest appearances here, but as far as the actual songs are concerned, Transitions, Anagnorsis, The Dust of Fallen Rome, this is some seriously killer industrial music, and I cannot stress enough how awesome this stuff is. Youth Code are a great band, and I cannot wait to hear what comes from them next. But anyway, here's the front cover. Love the spot gloss on here. Love the ancient sort of look going on here for this album cover. Back cover with track listings. There you see the Youth Code logo here. Uh, comes with a printed sheet of lyrics for all of the tracks that are on this record and credits. Very, very cool. Uh, comes with a printed inner sleeve with the two band members of uh, Youth Code in question here. Very, very nice. Thanks list. And uh, I believe this is the second press of this, and this comes on a very, very gorgeous white and black and gray marble sort of color. Yeah. Very, very beautiful vinyl color here. Sounds great, plays great. Definitely something worth investing and paying attention to. But yeah. Uh, Youth Code are sick. I love this album. This is definitely what I feel to be their best work, and I cannot wait to hear what they decide to do next. So yeah. Youth Code, Commitment to Complications, go check this one out. Heading down another extreme metal rabbit hole, this next one here is something that I have been anxiously hoping and waiting to see get a repress. And honestly, listening to this album definitely gives me some seriously fun memories of great times. This is Acid Witch with Stone. Yeah, this is their second full length from 2010. This is released through Hell's Headbangers Records, and this is the 2018 repress. Uh, yeah, Acid Witch are a death doom band based out of Michigan, and um, this band incorporates so much creativity and excellence within their sound. Of course, I fondly remember watching this band in Ohio for Hell's Head Bash part two with Canyon Bickle next to me, watching this band live, having their stage presence, their look, their aesthetic, them playing songs off of their, their whole discography, and then playing the songs off of Stoned. It seriously brings me back to greater memories, and this, and this album here in particular, I believe to be their best work. I mean, Witch Tannic Hallucinations was awesome and all, but I believe Stoned continued on in the next path ahead. Uh, Witch Finder Finder, Trick or Treat, Live Forever, uh, Metal Movie Marijuana Massacre Meltdown. I fucking love that song title and those lyrics so much. I mean, Slasher Dave and Shagrat know exactly what they're doing when it comes to crafting some cre crazy creativity here. Of course, those are the main particulars when it comes to the band members of uh, Acid Witch because you don't know what they do or how they do things when it comes to their full lengths. Live band members, it's a different story, but yeah. Stone still holds up very nicely, and this is definitely an album that needs to be listened to by any fan of death metal, doom, horror, Halloween, or anything like that. This band embodies all of those spirits perfectly. But anyway, here's the front cover. Very classic, iconic album cover here. Very, very cool. Back cover, track listings, additional artwork and credits. Very cool gatefold. There you have lyrics and credits. There you have the band member photo of them doing crazy, crazy Halloween things. Uh, this record came with some really interesting uh, goodies, as I'm going to be taking everything out slowly here. 
because this is quite a heavy get for them, I must say. Yeah, here we go. Comes with this, um, this Halloween decoration here. Very, very rowdy. Very cool. Definitely a very collectible thing. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be using this for Halloween decorations. This is staying right in the gate full because I think it's really, really fucking cool. Uh, comes with a poster of the artwork in question. Yeah, big frameable poster of the uh, of stone artwork. Very, very sick. Very beautiful. And this repress is quite a doozy to look at. I believe this comes on standard black vinyl, but also the majority comes on this absolutely gorgeous tricolor candy corn vinyl color. Yeah, there you have Site A, Site B, very, very sick. Sound quality is phenomenal. Hell's Headbangers did an amazing job with this, as they do for the majority of the vinyl records that they release. But yeah, Stone is the best Acid Witch album. Their album that they put out with last year is very good too, and I hope that sees a vinyl reissue as well as does a reissue for Witch Tannic Hallucinations. This is fucking killer stuff. But yeah, Acid Witch, Stone, go check this one out. Okay, next up we have some Murder City Death Metal from probably one of my favorite death metal bands on the planet. This is Cardiac Arrest with Morgue Mutilations. Yeah. This is their debut full length from 2005, if I'm not mistaken. 2005, 2006. But yeah. Cardiac Arrest's debut full length. Pretty much if you know this band, this band really incorporates and embodies what a lot of great and old school death metal is all about. Really rugged riffs, awesome vocals, uh, great drum work. Everything just feels dank cruddy and nasty and everything about this album still holds up perfectly to this day i mean i see red stiffs in the basement carnage your fate uh as the dead pillage into the wood chipper i should also mention that into the wood chipper was one of the very first cardiac arrest songs i had ever heard and then going forward it only led me to appreciate what this band would soon put out throughout the years of course, the parallel dimension of Despair coming out this year is easily one of the best death metal albums of 2018. And uh, Cardiac Arrest are still making a lot of noise and a lot of efforts with their style of death metal. This is some seriously awesome stuff, and um, I'm glad that this album got the vinyl treatment. I'd like to see other uh, albums from the Cardiac Arrest discography get vinyl treatment too. So anyway, here's a fun cover. Love, love, love this rowdy, crazy, gory artwork. Very horror comic book inspired sort of stuff going on here. Very badass. Back cover, track listing, uh, Transcending Records put this out. 2017 reissue. Very, very cool. I bought this from the band when I saw them last year. Very, very sick. Um, comes with a printed sheet here. You have a collage of uh, classic band member photos. Some liner notes from Adam Scott, the guitarist vocalist of the band, band members and additional credits. And this reissue is limited to 500 copies and I got the color variant of this, which is on a very cool translucent red vinyl. There you see Side Morgue, Side Mutilation. Very, very good job done here by this, by this record label, but yeah. More Mutilations by Cardiac Arrest. Absolutely classic, classic Chicago death metal. These guys are the real deal and always will be. And the last record I'm going to show you here is something I didn't think I'd imagine seeing happening. I saw this posted on the Nuclear War Now website, and then I noticed that it immediately sold out. But then I went to see Hell's Headbangers, and then they had this exact same thing. I had to pretty much be a sleuth and do my research on it and see what this was all about. And I remember having a CD version of this back in the day, um, and then when I saw that this got a vinyl treatment, I immediately had to rush on it. Whether it's bootleg or fan club or whatever, I don't fucking care. I'm just happy to own any material by this band. This is Sadistic Intent with Impending Doom Before the Conflict. Yeah. 
2018 release through Reek of Death Records. And what this basically is, is a compilation of demo, EP, and single material spread throughout this band's entire body of work from the late 80s to the early 90s to 2016. It's just absolutely incredible stuff. I mean, if you know Sadistic Intent, these guys are based out of California and they have had a long-standing reputation for being a very hard-working, reputable death metal band. For some reason, this band has never put out a full-length album. I don't know when or if that will ever happen, but honestly, if it does, I think hell might freeze over just a little bit, but yeah. S regardless of whether or not they put out a full length, Sadistic Intent are the real fucking deal. And of course this compilation has a bunch of classic material, their uh, Impending Doom EP, uh, A Calm Before the Storm EP, The Conflict Within Demo from 1989, and you have some special cover tracks and singles, you have their Song from the Split with Ungod, uh, Celtic Frost cover, Slayer cover, and then you have a live track from when they played Romania in 2016, which is very, very neat. But yeah, if you're somehow able to get a hold of this, if you're into sadistic intent, I would definitely recommend giving this a shot because this is very, 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 very fascinating and neat to see something like this get the vinyl treatment. But anyway, here's the front cover. Uh, if, you, if you have the CD version, this is very, very similar and identical to that. Very thick spine on this thing. Back cover, more iconic imagery that you affiliate with Sadistic Intent. There you see their old school logo here. Very, very cool. Gatefold with credits and information. Very, very cool. And uh, it comes on two different variants. I believe this is limited to 500 copies. And uh, this comes on a clear vinyl. And I opted for the white vinyl. There you see on this vinyl here, you have the old Sadistic Intent logo and this artwork that you saw on the front cover here. And on this one, you have the current day Sadistic Intent logo and uh, the dark Sadistic Death Metal Cross here. Very, very cool. Very nice job done here by Reek of, of, uh, Reek of Death Records. But yeah, like I said, if you're a Sadistic Intent fan, you should definitely find a way to get a hold of this. I definitely hope and wish for more Sadistic Intent material to come out soon. So yeah, Sadistic Intent, Heading Doom, Before the Conflict, check this one out. And uh, with that being said, I'm going to conclude this video. A couple of things to point out before I conclude this video. Um, next week, I'm going to be doing the answers to the Q&A video. So if you have any questions, leave that in the video. I will leave you the video in the description box for you to check it out. And then in September, I will be doing the giveaway contest. More details on that soon. Trust me, it'll be worth your time and effort. So, if you happen to have heard or own any of these releases I showed in this video, definitely let me know what you think about it, how you feel about it, and we can go from there. Have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. Until the next time, Army Help out.